A Ugandan newspaper has been ordered to shut down and could face criminal charges after publishing an explosive article identifying what it called the country's top 100 homosexuals. CNN's David McKenzie is following the story for us from Johannesburg, South Africa. David, this is just bizarre. Can you explain what happened? Well, uh, you know, what I can tell you is that it's been shut down not because of any ethical issue in terms of uh, this newspaper, the Rolling Stone uh, tabloid, no connection to the U.S. magazine. Um, it's not because they did anything wrong in the eyes of the government ethically in naming what they say are the top 100 homosexuals in Uganda. It's more like a technicality. The government's saying that they didn't register properly and they can open once they do that. So I don't think it's necessarily that the, the newspaper is being targeted for what it's done by the government. In fact, some would say that the newspaper is towing the government line. In Uganda, uh, homosexuality is illegal. Exactly a year ago, and this is not a coincidence that this uh, paper brought out this headline at this time, exactly a year ago, Jonathan, the government tried to push through legislation which would make uh, a, a, a death penalty a, applicable for certain gay acts as well as uh, lesser acts in the eyes of the law uh, leading to life in prison. That led to an outcry in the international community and that uh, bill was quietly shelved in this East African country. But now you have this newspaper which has this headline and let's look at, look at this page and it basically even in the top right of that headline there's a yellow banner that says hang them and really it was calling on people to target gays uh, listed in this newspaper uh, and to target them, arrest them, harass them and, and certainly we've talked to gay activists that some people have already been harassed and lost their jobs because of this. Jonathan? Now this isn't just happening anywhere, this is happening as you mentioned in Uganda. There's a long backstory here and it starts with the government. That's right, as I said there was that legislation um, you know, what happened was uh, a member of parliament actually, uh, due to some pressure, uh, uh, activist groups say, because of U.S. missionary churches, tried to push through this conservative, hyper-conservative legislation uh, that was aimed at punishing people for uh, their sexual preferences. That has been kind of on the back burner. But with this, we are seeing this debate coming up again in Uganda. You know, one activist I just t spoke to said this is like uh, someone's, you know, taking the breath away from them. It's limiting uh, the amount of space that gay people in, in Uganda can live in. And it's really, they say, uh, uh, you know, this plus the government action is, is pushing against gay rights in a very egregious way. The government says that the activists are, quote, overreacting and that people haven't been targeted. But certainly people we've spoken to uh, in Uganda are, are very worried about this and uh, it has a knock-on effect. It kind of can ruin people's lives in such a conservative country where being gay is really illegal can have a major effect on individual people that this newspaper uh, named, Jonathan. And it's certainly a debate really raging uh, across most of the continent.